The cyclones are intensifying. Cedar has been the largest in terms of strength and width of all the cyclones that we have experienced so far. Now, this is consistent with the Intergovernment Panel of Climate Change prediction. Farida and her family were spared their lives, but Sidra destroyed everything they owned. They live just a few meters from the sea. With the rising sea level, they're seeing the salt water slowly seeping onto their land. We have nothing. We have no house, no roof, no door. We're just floating in the sea with our family. There's nothing we can do. We are here, just floating in the sea. We have nothing to say. We don't have any other place to go. We can't go to someone else's property. They wouldn't let us live with them. So I'm just hoping for Allah's help. One of our calculations for one metre sea level rise shows that about uh, one-fifth of the country, 20% of the country, will be inundated. In today's population, about 25 million people will be affected, displaced. You know, they will find, have to find alternative livelihoods, which is going to create enormous challenge in a highly populous country and densely populous country like Bangladesh. The challenge is even greater as center and north of the country are also prone to flooding. The delta rivers that pass through Bangladesh come from the Himalayas. The melting glaciers mean these rivers already filled by the monsoon rains become even more swollen and flood vast areas. Close to the river Brahmaputra in the very north of Bangladesh, Mohammed's village. In 2007, the flood swept away his harvest. We always harvested rice and ate our own rice, but last year, because of the flood, we had to buy rice, which we never did before. It's been terrible for six months. This country has always suffered from natural disasters. The Bangladeshis have learned to live with them, building dikes to contain the floods, shelters in case of cyclones. But climate change is making it more difficult now for Bangladesh to adapt. Once a human group or an ecosystem has either collapsed or displaced or has to move, that's the end of that, you can't adapt anymore. Retreat is not an adaptation strategy. If we continue the way we are, people will move. They will move to the other country.